Barrio is a great place to find songs that are excelente, foods that are muy sabroso, and stories that are fantasticos. Like this one about a little lamb named Boraguita who outwits a hungry coyote. It's called Boraguita and the Coyote. Borreguita <laughs> and the Coyote by Verna Ardema. Illustrated by Petra Mathers. Read by Olga Merediz. On a farm at the foot of a mountain, there once lived a little ewe lamb. Her master called her simply Borreguita, which means little lamb. One day, Borreguita's master tied her to a stake in a field of red clover. The lamb was eating the lush plants when a coyote came along. The coyote growled. Borreguita, I'm going to eat you. Oh, Senor Coyote, I would not fill you up. I am as thin as a bean pod. When I have eaten all this clover, I shall be fat. You may eat me then. Esta bien, that is good. When you are fat, I shall come back. After many days, the coyote returned. Grrr, Borreguita, you are as plump as a tumbleweed. I'm going to eat you now. <laughs> Senor Coyote, I know something that tastes ever so much better than lamb. What? Cheese. My master eats it on his tacos. The coyote had never heard of cheese, and he was curious about it. How can I get some of this cheese? Tonight, when the moon is high, meet me at the pond, and I will show you how to get a cheese. Está bien. I will be there. That night, when the full moon was straight up in the sky, Borreguita and Coyote met at the edge of the pond. There, glowing in the black water, was something that looked like a big, round cheese. Do you see it? Swim out and get it! Coyote paddled toward the cheese. But the cheese stayed just so far ahead. Finally, he opened his mouth and lunged. Whoosh! The image shattered in the splash. Pond water rushed into Coyote's mouth. Coughing and sputtering, he turned and headed for the shore. When he reached it, the little lamb was gone. She had tricked him. At dawn the next day, Borreguita went to graze near a small, overhanging ledge of rock on the side of the mountain. She knew that Coyote would be coming after her, and she had a plan. She crawled under the ledge and braced her feet against the top. When Coyote found her, he growled, Grrr, Borreguita, I see you under there. Bah! Bah! Senor Coyote, you cannot eat me now. I have to hold up this mountain. If I let go, it will come tumbling down. Coyote saw that the lamb was holding it up. You are strong. Will you hold it while I go for help? Coyote did not want the mountain to fall. So he crept under the ledge and put up his feet. Push hard. Do you have it? I have it, but hurry back. This mountain is heavy. Borreguita rolled out of the cave and went leaping all the way back to the barnyard. 
coyote held up that rock until his legs ached. At last, he said, even if it falls, I'm going to let go. The coyote rolled out and covered his head with his paws. The mountain did not fall. Then he knew the little lamb had fooled him again. Early the next morning, Coyote found the little lamb and said, Borreguita, you will not escape this time. I'm going to eat you now. <laughs> Senor Coyote, I know I deserve to die. But grant me one kindness. Swallow me in one piece so that I won't have to suffer the biting and the chewing. I couldn't swallow you all in one piece even if I wanted to. Oh, yes, you could. Open wide and I will run and dive right in. Coyote opened his mouth wide. Borreguita backed away, put her head down and charged. Bang! She struck the inside of Coyote's mouth so hard, she sent him rolling. Ow! Ow, 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 ow. And from that day on, Borreguita frisked about, and Coyote never bothered her again. Telling clever tales like Borreguita is a local tradition. And so are murals, like this one. Murals are huge paintings that cover many of the walls in the barrio. Judy Baca. I'm a Chicana mural painter. Chicana means that you are a Mexican person born in the United States. You find murals everywhere in the city of Los Angeles. They're on street corners, they're on stores, they're in schools. Well, there's lots of reasons for painting a mural. Sometimes a mural is a way of being a memory for a community a way of remembering something that we don't want to forget. And sometimes they're painted in places that are very ugly places to make the place more beautiful. And sometimes we paint murals simply because we need to express ourselves. <laughs> 